Psalms 118.24 tells us, This is the day which the Lord hath made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. Are you really glad that God made today? Let's talk about that in your morning cup of inspiration. You know, it's easy <laughs> to say that each morning, but do you really mean it? Can we say it with feeling and belief? There's a number of things that will take our joy away, so we're not rejoicing like we should each day. And I was thinking about this and trying to think of what are the things that will take our joy away or that will take my joy away. And I find that if I'm complaining, that it hinders God from accomplishing all that he can, can accomplish in my life. And I think you'll see that too. If you start thinking about it, when we're complaining, we're, we're spewing out. We're not taking anything in. We're not hearing from God. And if I'm comparing my life to someone else's, all I'm doing is, is producing jealousy and, and possibly covetousness. And that's not what the Bible wants us or God wants us to do. And the Bible tells us to avoid that and stay away from that. But again, this is something that just takes joy out of my life. And then again, if I'm, if I'm always condemning others and thinking, you know, that, that why are they doing this? Why are they doing that? You're wrong. You're wrong. You're wrong. I'm not the only one that's right. But when I'm doing that, I'm, I'm heaping this undue shame on other people. And, and I'm driving them away from God instead of leading them to have a, a personal relationship with Jesus. See, all these things take away our joy. And when I'm, if I'm acting out in any of these ways, then I'm crushing my own spirit. And when I do that, then I, I, I bring in a sense of hopelessness. And that is something that, that destroys us, that brings us down. And you get up in the morning and you can't say, that uh, this is the day the Lord has made, I will rejoice and be glad in it, because you're not. And I know that I'm not when I'm in that way. So I have to pray daily that God will just help me get through that day so that I'm looking at others like Jesus looked at them. I am. Try I want to I want to see in other people what Jesus saw in other people. And that makes my day complete. That makes it full. That makes me want to be more of a help than a hindrance. You know, Philippians 4, 6 through 8, we've talked about it before, but it's so appropriate for this. It says, Do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your request to God, and the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Jesus Christ, or in Christ Jesus. Verse 8, though, finally, brothers and sisters, whatever is true, whatever is noble, whatever is right, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is admirable, if anything is excellent or praiseworthy, think about such things. You know, when we put our mindset like that, when we take that to heart and do it literally is what he's saying, we can truly say Psalms 118, 24, every morning when we get up, this is the day which the Lord hath made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. God bless you, everyone. I look forward to seeing you again for another Morning Cup of Inspiration. Have a wonderful day.